quantum physics was invented in 1905, but quantum physics in Minecraft was only invented in 2021. Today, we will explore the famous quantum physics mod for Minecraft, QMD. Keep in mind that I don't know much about quantum physics, because I am simply a funny Minecraft player, so expect this video to be quite incorrect in many aspects of quantum physics. This will make certain people quite angry, including my physics teacher, who has worked at CERN. QMD stands for Quantum Minecraft Dynamics. It is an add-on for the famous Minecraft mod called Nuclear Craft. Nuclear Craft is quite famous because of its complicated mechanics. Nuclear Craft's nuclear reactors are actually based on real life, and are not just a machine that you plong down in the world that you use normally. There are fuel rods, moderators, and everything. It isn't 100% realistic, because there are fuel rods made of redstone, because this is Minecraft, but it's pretty close. Quantum Minecraft Dynamics was made by the famous schizophrenic latch underscore 01298. Just by looking at the wiki, we can see that this mod was made by CERN itself. There is a literal particle accelerator in this mod, which makes sense, because this mod is about quantum physics. The only video guide about QMD is in Russian, so it is pretty clear that we are heading into some pretty obscure shit today. But QMD has a very extensive wiki, which I will use to document the mod. Nearly everything is documented with multiple pictures that I am using right now to make this video. Without the wiki, this video would not exist. So, a huge thanks to the guy writing all of it. The particle accelerator, sadly, is only a few blocks long while real-life ones are kilometers long, but it does look pretty acceleratory. There are many different types of accelerators, linear, synchrotron, beam diverter, decelerator and beam splitter. They need radio frequency cavities, dipole magnets, power, coolant, and heating. Since I don't know shit about how accelerators work in real life, I will consult GPT-4 to provide his opinion on this mod. GPT-4 thinks that the mod is only worth 4 realistic points out of 10 for some reason, even though literal people at CERN have developed it, because blah blah blah. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, we got particles to accelerate, let's not just look at the physics. This mod also has cool weapons, like the lepton cannon, or the gluon gun. Lepton cannons are also weapons that can fire through blocks and armor and irradiate the target. The gluon gun uses particles called glue balls to literally exterminate terrain. This was supposed to be used in the famous Minecraft mod pack called Supersymmetry. Gluon guns are weapons based on particle physics which were supposed to be unlocked in the very late game, at tier 11. But sadly, development of Supersymmetry has stopped. The nucleosynthesis chamber is a very large multi-block that requires a heater, beam, and plasma nozzles, and a vacuum chamber. This multi-block uses fluids, particles, and energy to create other fluids. So, this thing is a realistic creative tank. It can synthesize any element using just a few items and some particle physics bullshit. This machine was one of the end goals in supersymmetry, making it possible to create every element in the game at will. Quantum Minecraft Dynamics also contains the world's most expensive thing, antimatter. It can be stored in an exotic containment cell, which has to be constantly powered. Failure to do this will result in something very funny happening to your base, which may or may not be a deadly gamma ray burst paired with a large explosion. In supersymmetry, this antimatter was supposed to be a very large part of the game. If the game had actually been finished, antimatter was supposed to be needed in tier 7. When you get the antimatter drive that you can use to travel faster than light to other star systems. It's a pity that the game never got finished, because I remember being excited about these things 3 years ago. It would be really cool if Greg Tech expanded enough to see these new cool types of physics. If you think about it, Greg Tech is the closest attempt to making the most realistic civilization game possible. But it's still missing a few things. I will still wait for the day in 2035 when I'll be able to play the 3D Curse Jessagt video game. Goodbye.